That's the train whistle. Of course, I suppose you guessed that. I know John Henry would have known what it was. You know, John Henry was a railroad man. They tell me one of the greatest. That is, people all over the country tell me that. They say that he come from their hometown. Even coal miners in Kentucky say that John Henry was one of them. Some people say he was a myth. <clears throat> Never had the pleasure of meeting John Henry, but I do know the song about him, and this is the way it goes. When John Henry was a little bitty boy, sitting on his mammy's knee, he picked up a hammer and a little piece of steel, said, this hammer gonna be the death lord of me. This hammer gonna be the death lord of me. Then when John Henry was a little bitty boy, no bigger than the palm of your hand, his mammy looked down at John Henry and said, John Henry gonna be a steel driving man, Lord, Lord. John Henry gonna be a steel driving man. Well, John Henry was a steel driving man, drove steel all over the land. Said, before I let a steam hammer get me down, I'm going to die with my hammer in my hand, Lord, Lord. Going to die with my hammer in my hand. So John Henry went to the railroad to work, had a steam hammer by his side. He beat the steam hammer to the top of the hill. Then he laid down his hammer and he cried, Lord, Lord. He laid down his hammer and he cried. John Henry said to his helper, said, helper boy, you better pray. If my hammer ever misses this little piece of steel, tomorrow be your burying day, Lord, Lord, tomorrow be your burying day. John Henry had a loving little wife. Her name was Polly Ann. John Henry got sick and he had to go to bed. Polly drove steel like a man, Lord, Lord. Polly drove steel like a man. Well, they buried John Henry in the graveyard. They laid him down in the sand. And every time a freight train would by, they'd say, yonder lays that steel driving man, Lord, Lord. Yonder lays that steel driving man. 